Hey guys, this is Catherine from Oracle Intuitions. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your weekly reading for May 24th to the 31st and we're going to be taking a look into the energies of the mind, body and spirit as well as relationships with a closing message from the universe. Please remember that these are general readings so they may not resonate with everyone but I do suggest watching your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus readings as well to get a clearer picture of the week ahead. For those of you uh, that would wish an in-depth reading, you can contact me through oracleintuitions.com or my uh, Facebook and my Instagram pages at Oracle Intuitions and all the links are below in the description box. Also, on Wednesdays at 6 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time, we do live readings here on my channel. So these are mini readings. Um, and this is with my co-host Brandon Hauser and you know, we just provide as many readings as we can within the time period that we allot for that week. Also on Sundays, we bring on live guests. So these are all people in the spiritual field, whether they're psychics or tarot readers, uh, hypnotists, we had a witch. We like we have an amazing uh, array of guests that come on. So make sure that you watch us at two o'clock p.m. Mountain Time on Sundays. Uh, also, guys, remember, please click subscribe. Please click like and leave me a comment to let me know if this reading resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching and let's get into your reading and have an amazing week ahead. Thank you so much. Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading for May 24th to the 31st. We're taking a look into the energies of the mind, body, and spirit, as well as relationships with a closing message from the universe. Please remember that these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone. However, I do suggest that you take a look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs as well to get a clearer picture of the week ahead. All right, so let's see what is coming forth for... Gemini this upcoming week. All right. For the mind, we have the Ten of Swords. For the spirit, we have the Princess of Swords. And whoopsie, for spirit, we have the Strength card. So there may be a situation that is ending at least within your mind, okay? I feel like you may be cutting out um, things in order to things that are going to have to require some strength now this could have to do with relationships for some of you this could have to do with jobs careers um maybe perhaps fears it could be mindsets or behaviors that you're thinking of walking away from it feels like there's a very strong energy of you having to cut something out okay that you're making the choice of walking away from something uh, you may also be in this place where you feel like there's an ending towards something all right um, I feel very strongly though that you already felt like this ending was happening or that you knew that this ending was happening like I don't feel a surprise in here for you but I also am getting that there is um, that that because of this ending that there's going to be a sense of freedom that comes out of it or a sense of happiness that comes out of it I do feel like there is some strength that may have to come from your side and spirit is asking you to be strong especially with that with that strength you know coming through within spirit it also feels like maybe there needs to be a balanced energy that's being projected here too um I feel like for some of you, this very much could have to do, now again, it's not going to resonate with everybody because it could have to do with a relationship or, you know, it, it could have to be with fam friends, family, coworkers, maybe you're leaving a job, maybe you're thinking about moving ahead towards something else, but it does really have this element here of cutting things out, leaving things that are no longer serving you behind. It's like taking this sword and just ending something, all right? ending something and it feels like especially with that ten of sword now we, we're going to take a look and see if this is a perceived energy or whether this is a true energy but i really feel like gemini this is going to be in your best interest okay i feel like for some of you this is very much a feeling of just if i leave this behind if i end this situation if i let end this uh, habit, this behavior, this mindset, whatever it is, if I take the step forward and end this, I'm going to be in a stronger and better place. 
all right? Uh, this even, I mean, for some of you, this even could be like ending like a social media, you know, watching social media all the time, maybe, you know, watching the news all the time. I mean, it, it could be something very small. It could be something, you know, quite large. But I just feel like you've already made the decision to end and some sort of circumstance within your own life. So let's see what's coming through here in regards to these cards. Yeah, compassion. I do feel like there needs to be a sense of compassion. I feel like maybe that compassion might be towards yourself as well. Like ending a situation is going to help you in some way. It's going to bring you a sense of compassion for yourself. Maybe, you know, for some of you, you were staying in a situation for far too long and you know that you need strength in order to walk away from it. But there's also this sense of compassion that's coming through. Maybe you're also feeling, look at, I got to end this situation, but I'm going to do it with a sense of compassion. I'm going to do it in the fairest and the most gentle way that I can at this time. We also have nature. And we have the universe. So I, I almost feel like for some of you, when I see nature, even though I feel nature, um, I mean, for some of you, this could have to do with that you spent time in nature. But it really talks about grounding as well. Because when we're out in nature, we tend to ground ourselves. So we're coming from a grounded energy. And I feel like universe is supporting your decision in, in walking away. I'm also getting that the universe is supporting your strength at this time. But I feel like whatever this decision is of leaving something behind or letting go of something, uh, you're doing it from a very grounded, a very grounded energy. This isn't something that you just, you know, you're doing like spontaneously or that you're just woke up one day and said, Oh, I'm ending this. You know, this is coming from a place that you've put thought in. Um, you've put, you know, you've, you've put a lot of energy towards, okay. This might even be a situation that you just didn't see working. And maybe there was little hints coming through little hints coming through that it was time to end it. And now you're making that, that, you know, jump toward it. You may have been even thinking, how do I end this in a compassionate way? And that's really showing that you're coming from a grounded place with the support of the universe. This is also what I'm getting. I get, I, I, again, it's not, it's, this is not a selfish walking away. So maybe that's a validation for some of you Geminis that are watching that are saying, you know, I, I'm choosing to end something, but you know, I'm just doing it because I'm angry or I'm just doing it from this place. It feels like you really put a lot of thought into it. You really put a lot of consideration to it. You may have weighed a lot of options and I feel like you're doing it with this strong sense of compassion that is, you know, it's just really showing your personal strength and who you are as a human. All right. And it, it's really saying, look at, you know what? I, I keep getting the sentence. It's like it's saying, you know, you're a better person for taking this path and doing it in the balanced energy that you're choosing to do it in. All right. This is, this is what I keep getting. And, I, and again, take it as it resonates in whatever aspect it's within your life. It doesn't need to be relationships. It doesn't need to be jobs or careers. This could be just a sense of your own personal, you know, maybe you're just letting go of a habit, right? Or, or a behavior or a way of thinking. All right. Um, a lifestyle of some sort. All right. But you've put a lot of thought into it and you're walking away from it with a grounded energy and I love this and you have the full support of the universe behind you all right so let's get some more clarification and see what is coming through I don't feel like you're walking away there's going to be a sense of heartache you know because sometimes when we just leave something behind or we let go of something there may be that that sense of you know um sadness it doesn't mean that there's not a sadness about it or anything like that but i i feel because you're doing this in such a grounded way that there's actually a stronger sense of strength that's coming forth rather than uh an energy of 
guilt or an energy of sadness or an energy of you know bereavement in some way it just feels like no i've chosen to take this path i'm letting go of it and i'm moving forward i'm doing it with the best sense of compassion that i can possibly have at this point and i'm trying to do it fairly all right so let's get some clarification so we have winter's dream, a gestation period. Uh, for some of you, again, I feel like you put a lot of thought into it. Maybe you even had to make plans in order to actually let it go. All right. You may have had to put some resources together. Maybe you just couldn't um, do it immediately simply because, you know, there was some organization that you had to um, put together first or something that you needed to create first. It feels as though maybe you've even been thinking about winter, like since the winter that you were going to create this, maybe you were just waiting for the perfect time in order to do it. And we also have the magician's sword, confidence in your magic. So I feel like this is, you know, spirit saying have confident in your choices and have confidence in that strength that's about to come forth or that you're doing it out of that sense of strength all right have confidence in that again i do feel like you're fully supported by the universe and you know moving forward and it talks about grace and generosity so again we have that compassion right and we have benefactors so for some of you you may be leaving somebody or you may be leaving some sort of uh, situation but not only is there grace and generosity but there is compassion behind it i feel like what spirit is trying to say to you is don't have the sense of guilt because you're letting something go all right don't have the sense of guilt don't let anybody guilt you about this don't be in this place of um i can't let it go because of the guilt that somebody is putting upon me or you know don't don't have um guilt or don't feel bad about letting something go even though you it may be again a mindset that you've had for a long time maybe there's a little bit of fear behind it but what i keep getting is that this is going to be the best circumstance for you i can't it, it, it's interesting especially with this universe coming through because it really feels like the universe is supporting you it feels like you've been receiving the signs and maybe the indications from universe for a while maybe that's why that gen you know the gestation period maybe there just had to be the time in order to be able to do it but you're doing it the time that is going that is right for you now all right whether it's next week or in the upcoming weeks or maybe you just went through this maybe this is just that validation that you and whatever it was that you ended was the best for you this is that validation for it okay so this is what i keep getting from the universe it feels like there's a new sense of moving forward coming towards you that is going to be absolutely beautiful and perfect for you at this time because of how you've ended whatever it is that you're leaving behind now so let's get some cards into the universe uh into relationships sorry and see what is coming through this is for relationships for gemini May 24th to the 31st. What does it have to say? Yeah, a mask. Uh, not showing true feelings, hide, personality, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. So for some of you, you might be walking away from a situation that you felt was being gaslighted. You felt like maybe you're walking away from a situation where somebody wasn't trying, showing their true feelings. Um, you could be ending something where you just feel like you both were wearing masks within the situation like this this relationship it was surface level it wasn't deep because there was masks being shown all right we also have the snake and it talks about competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman maybe for some of you you're ending a situation and again this isn't going to resonate for all of you so please take it as it does resonate with you but i do feel that for some of you you're walking away from a third party situation or a situation where either you or somebody else was wearing a mask or maybe there was perhaps like again a third party or whatever it is but you're looking at it now and you're saying look 
I have to be, I have to come from a place of honesty. I have to come from a place of compassion for myself, perhaps, maybe for other people, whatever it is. But it's time for me to make that move forward. It's time for me to leave this in the past and take a bold step with that strength forward. And I do have the support of the universe. And we have the palm tree and it talks about stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Yeah, I'm walking away from a situation that's no longer serving me and I'm moving into a situation that is going to be secure and stable for me. It doesn't need to be another relationship. It might even be just a relationship with yourself, but walking away from things that aren't serving you is bringing you to a stronger sense of security within you knowing that you had the strength to walk away from something and say, look at, I don't need this anymore. I don't need to be in this third party situation, or I don't need to be in a situation where somebody's wearing a mask and not being honest with their feelings or not being, you know, generous with, with, with their feelings or how their emotions or whatever it is. I always feel like I'm being gaslighted or I feel like I'm being, you know, maybe this is a narcissistic type of you know, relationship, whatever it is, however that relates to you. Remember that this does not need to be romantic. This can be friends, family, coworkers. It could be some sense of relationship with yourself. Maybe you felt that you were wearing a mask. Okay. Maybe you felt, you know, that you weren't being truly honest with your own soul. All right. So that's, that's also something to think about when we let go of that, when we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, when we allow ourselves to open up and allow that compassion towards ourselves, this is where that stability and security comes forth. It'll, it, it changes the outlook of things for ourselves. So again, take that as it resonates, but we're going to get some clarification and see what is coming forth. So let's get some clarifying cards for this energy. Clarifying for Gemini. Spirit of the river, movement towards adventure. Beautiful. We have the me, me talks. Repairing the mind, body, and spirit. Exactly. So for some of you, it may not be that you're leaving a relationship. You know, again, take it as it resonates, right? This could be repairing your own mind, body, and spirit. Whether you're moving away from a relationship or just a change in your own uh, thought patterns, mindsets, behaviors, the subconscious, whatever it is, you're doing that repair. Your movement toward a new sense of adventure, a new sense of strength okay, within yourself. And we have transpersonal. So this is a very personal um, movement, okay? It's almost as though you, you put a lot of thought into it. You put a lot of compassion towards it. Uh, you really made a decision from a grounded and mature place. This isn't, uh, this isn't a decision that you know you you're you're just walking away from an anger or anything else this feels very personal all right it feels very personal to you and again it feels very um very led by spirit okay very very much led by the universe uh i don't know it just it just feels like for some of you it's like you know by leaving whatever this is if somebody can't come at you with honesty, if somebody can't come at you with integrity, if somebody can't come at you or be in a place where you're, you know, where you're feeling secure, you're, you're leaving it. You're just leaving it. This may not even be a particular relationship. Again, it could be that mindset where you're just going, okay, I'm no longer going to accept relationships that are like this. I want relationships that are only, you know, stable and secure where I see the growth within this relationship, we're allowing vulnerability, where we're allowing integrity, where there's morals within this relationship. And, you know, whether you've been single for a while, or maybe perhaps, again, you're walking away from something, I just feel like there's a change coming through for you, where you're no longer accepting the things that aren't serving you. You're no longer accepting things that just don't make you happy, that don't make you feel in this place of, of, 
feeling strong within yourself. And that's the sad part, right? Because weak relationships or relationships that you put that put you into this place of, you know, feeling held down or or not being honest, not being open, they they don't give you strength. They just make you feel like you're you're constantly having to fight for something. And and that's a different type of strength. That's not strength. That's just being um you know chasing right you're you're chasing an energy that that's not making you strong it's not making you strong within yourself so it, it again whether this is you know a, that you're walking away from something or you're just changing a mindset and you're, you're saying look at that my next relationship needs to be like this this is what you need to embrace at this moment and it just feels like it really is a natural progress for you but it also is really feeling like it's so supported right now by the universe. It is just so supported. You may have been feeling like this for a while. Remember, we had that gestation period. This may have been something that you've been thinking about or putting thought in to a while, for a while. Maybe you just took that time to, you know, put all the pieces together in order to make that step forward or to make, you know, to make that, that new, I almost want to say subconscious thought come through. Okay, because a lot of times we think consciously, but it's really our subconscious and, uh, you know, that propels us, right? It's our subconscious that kind of directs our manifestations because if we're in a place of accepting things that are, that are not worthy of us, that can really drag down our own personal creativity, our own manifestations, our own sense of moving forward. So I feel like this may have been something that you may have been working on for a while, it's like, how do I, what is it that I truly want? What is it that I truly want to bring forth? What is it that I truly desire? And you're letting other things go that aren't matching with that energy. All right. So let's get some closing messages from the universe and see what is coming through. Closing messages from the universe for Gemini. All right straddling worlds wandering between realms and this one wanted to come out so it's got a group thing i feel like for some of you this is interesting um wandering between realms and that group thing i feel like for some of you you're walking away uh from a universal mindset maybe you're going your own path maybe you're thinking about things that yes, everybody else thinks like this, but I'm taking this step forward. This may not even have to do with this, you know, with the rest of the reading that we just did. This could be like a separate message for somebody. Like it really feels right now that you're kind of in this place of, um, I agree with this, but I don't agree with all of this mindset. I don't agree with all of this thought process. It's time for me to take my own path. And you may be in the process of walking away from walking away from something like that as well. It really feels like it really feels like right now, your own individual thinking is going to propel you forward. It's going to take you out of that realm where you're sort of straddling between, you know, what you're feeling and what you truly want or, or what it is that other people are thinking or doing or behaving into your own realm. It's kind of taking your own path at this time. And that's what I keep getting. So if you are in, you know, um, some sort of situation. I'm also getting here that for some of you, maybe walking away from a situation could have been a little harder simply because there was some sort of group think. Like, you know, sometimes we, we want to walk away from a situation that's no longer serving us, but our friends, family, other people around us are like, no, you should stay, you should stay, you know, things will get better and, you know, all of this stuff, right? And it, it's basically a group thing. It's, it's people putting their own thoughts and perceptions onto, you know, our own personal realm, right? Our, of what's happening within our life. And I feel like for some of you, you may have been straddling that too. It's like, I want to walk away. I know what I want, but I keep feeling pulled or pressured, you know, from others. And what I'm getting here is it is time to make that step into your own realm. 
cut what it is that you no longer need even if there's a group think behind it that, that you know that is of no circumstance to you like you have to let that go you have to let that go it's time for you to enter into your own personal strength and your own personal realm that is going to make you happy going into the future and that you are supported by universe so i truly hope that this has helped gemini i uh, please remember to click like please subscribe to the channel please comment below if this reading resonated with you and also don't forget on wednesdays we have our live mini readings at six o'clock p.m mountain time and our live interviews on sundays at two o'clock p.m mountain time thank you so much for watching have an amazing week and take care many blessings <music>